You like your documentaries. I do. You quite like Ooh. your you quite like your theatrical documentaries. Yeah. Cinema cinema documentaries. Yeah. This is about to be released any minute now. Ooh. And it's a documentary about the life of the original documentary on Alexander McQueen. Oh! The McQueen tapes. Mm. He was the sweet boy from the East End. I wasn't very good at school. I was always drawing clothes in science, in biology. Wow. He's got nothing, and yet he was determined this is what he was going to do. I bought all my fabrics with my doll money. And what was that East End job used as a needle? People in the industry say, oh, I discovered Alexander McQueen. Alexander McQueen discovered himself. Nobody could create emotion like McQueen. If you leave without emotion, then I'm not doing my job properly. I don't want you to walk out feeling like you've just had Sunday lunch. Oh. I want you to be repulsed or wow. exhilarated. As long as it's an emotion. His garments, they're almost confessional. In my work, everything I do is personal. Even turning Kate Moss into a hologram. I do 14 collections a year, so the pressure's immense. His clothes have all this slashing and sex and romance. And the darkness creates a genius. He made every headline. People were talking. He was breaking outside of fashion and becoming famous. People literally fighting to see the catwalk. He thought the system was against him. He put everything into his fashion design. There was definitely a change in having to become this persona. This Alexander McQueen. They told him it was impossible, and he said, no, it's not. You can do it. And that's what he did. He did the impossible. This is what I was born to do. The fragility of life. We can all be discarded quite easily. You're there, you're gone. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. God, I cannot wait for that. Because he had that great friend, didn't didn't he? That I think they they say she discovered him. She discovered Sophie Dahl, didn't she? And mm, Isabella Blow. Isabella Blow, and, and I think she also committed suicide. So I wonder if that's going to be in the film as well, if that's part of the story. Well, I've read somewhere that there's a, a fictional film being made about their friendship. Oh. What I liked about that, it was leaning entirely on archive and yeah. found footage. Like Amy. And it really recalled Amy like for Amy, me. Because Amy was so brilliant. We've been, look, been looking for our next day. Yeah. We've got a bit of promise with Whitney. Yeah. So the new Whitney film but is the tortured out. soul. I mean, I have to mm. say, the music is so emotional as soon as you see someone sort of go on that ascendant of success and then you see, you see and the And obviously just a natural genius. Mm. I've heard that before. He was like totally useless at school mm, mm. And, and misunderstood and yet I mean god look at those shows I had no Remarkable. idea I mean I'm really looking forward to seeing all those shows yeah yeah and seeing his clothes I mean that I, amazing I, shot with the girl where they were just spraying yeah. the robots were spraying I mean I must admit I, you know I know I've got an Alexander McQueen skull t-shirt but I've we all know Alexander, his skulls don't we I've got an Alexander McQueen ring that you bought me that's right. So we know his skulls, so it'd be really nice to kind of know what More the story him. was behind that dark, dark image. 